Welcome to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray. I'm your host for Clyburn Kids, and we come to you from the Steinway Piano Gallery in downtown Fort Worth, which is why you see all these pianos around. We're filming this episode in the wintertime, and sometimes the winter brings snow. And we have a piano piece called The Snow is Dancing. We're going to talk about how we make snow on the piano and how we make snow dance on the piano. But first of all, I want you to meet a friend of ours at the Clyburn. His name is Kenny Broberg, and he is going to actually be playing the piece for you. Here's Kenny. Hi, my name is Kenny. I'm 27 years old and I'm a professional pianist. Uh, I started playing piano when I was six years old. And since then I've traveled all over the world playing piano. I hope you enjoy this episode of Clyburn Kids. In just a minute, Kenny's going to play the piece for you called The Snow is Dancing. It's by a French composer named Claude Debussy. And he left us a whole lot of instructions about how to make snow dance on the piano. When we read music on the piano, it's really that we're following instructions. Now, you have to do that a lot, I know, in school and at home. You have to follow the instructions. When you play the piano, you have to do the same thing. So... The composer, Claude Debussy, left a whole bunch of instructions about how to make snow on the piano and how to make it dance on the piano. The first thing he left us was the actual notes, the pitches. Now that's how the music starts. And he gave us even more clues about how to make it dance. He put little dots over the notes that you'll be able to see. The dots tell us that he wanted the notes to be slightly separated like this. You see how my fingers come up just a little bit from the keyboard? If he had left no dots, I would just play it this way. Like that. He also left us some words and some letters that, that mean a few things too. There are two Ps, one right after the other, and it means that we're supposed to play very softly on the piano right from the very beginning. That's what those two Ps mean. And then there are two more words. They're in, well, they're actually three words. They're in French because the composer was French. And they mean that we are to play softly and to make it blur. Now that's the hard part. That's how the piece really takes off is in making the sound blur. No, I can't do that just with my fingers alone. It's very hard to make it blur, but there's another component of the piano that I can use that I operate with my foot. It's right down here. And I operate it with my foot and it makes the sound very blurry. Listen to this, listen to the difference. Just without my foot, and then this is with my foot. That gets a lot blurrier. And then I can add my left hand, like WC told us to, and we can make the snow dance even more. Watch this. That's a lot of instructions we're having to follow. We're having to play the right notes. We're having to make sure that they're a little bit separated. We're having to make sure that it's very soft. And I have to make sure to use the pedal so it will be blurry like the composer wanted. That's a lot of instructions to follow. Our friend Kenny Broberg is very good at doing all that. And he's very good at playing this piece called The Snow is Dancing. Take a look.
That's our friend Kenny Broberg playing The Snow is Dancing by Claude Debussy. Did you see how he followed the directions like to the letter? He played sort of separated, but also with his foot, he could make it blurry. It had to be really soft. Kenny is a master pianist, and we thought you would enjoy watching him play. That's it for this episode of Clyburn Kids. We have tons more episodes on our website at Clyburn.org, and we hope to see you next time on Clyburn Kids. Thanks for watching.